All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our webinar, Rise of the Trades, how open space gives subs, uh, specialty subs a leg up in the construction process. I'm Valerie Ash with Open Space. I'm Director of Enterprise Growth here, and I am thrilled to be here today with um, two of our special guests from Prairie Electric and Western Partitions. Um, I will introduce them in a moment, but first let's take a peek at the agenda for this talk today. So uh, Open Space has been around since 2017 now, but we uh, realized that while we've had great success with GCs and owners in the building space, that the trades that work with them really haven't even scratched the surface yet of the benefits that open space can bring to them. So from what we're seeing, that's about to change. And today's webinar is to introduce our friends in the trades to what open space is and what it can do for them. So you'll hear what we've heard personally from our customers and why open space is an untapped opportunity for subcontractors. Um, and then you'll hear from two of our actual customers uh, who I mentioned earlier as we'll gather around the proverbial campfire to hear their stories of settling disputes and getting paid on time um, and other benefits all from using the fast and easy visual data that they're able to capture with open space. So a couple of housekeeping items we're taking questions throughout the webinar. My good friend Enrique Amaya is uh, the man behind the curtain who will be taking care of your questions. If you have a question, um, you can click on the Q&A panel um, or chat, and he will take those questions for you. And we'll take any remaining questions at the end, as well as uh, take you through how you can get started with open space. So um, quickly, before I go into um, an introduction of open space, I'd like to just introduce our guests who are on the call with me today from Prairie Electric. We have Darwin Redinger and Andrew Monio, both from Vancouver, Washington, which is as I understand it, just a hop over the Columbia River from Portland, Oregon, which I didn't know. That was pretty cool. Um, so uh, welcome, Darwin and Andrew. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Yep, thank you. And then we'll also hear from Zach Gabriels from Western Partitions. He's calling in from Portland, Oregon. So you guys are just neighbors, really. Um, he's a project executive at Western Partitions. So thanks for joining us, Zach. We'll be hearing from you also in a minute. Thanks for having me. Awesome. All right. So I just have a, a few quick uh, slides here on what is open space. So we are a 100% <clears throat> excuse me, automated cap, uh, passive capture solution um, that maps to your 2D floor plans. And if you're using BIM on a project, also aligns with your 3D models. So this is a kind of a quick video of what it does and how it, how it's easy to use. So basically you're strapping on a 360 camera under your hard hat, downloading an app on your smartphone and pressing go from the starting point. Once you've updated your 2D floor plans, then as you walk, it's automatically mapping to those floor plans where you've walked and capturing 360 degree images of your project passively. So you don't have to do anything, but tap start once you start walking. Um, it's super easy to use and about 10 to 15 times faster than uh, other solutions that are on the market today, way faster to capture than just clicking, going around clicking on your iPhone. And you'll hear from, um, from Zach, Andrew and Darwin, how that all works as far as um, also being really easy to manage the visual data that you're capturing on your job site. So as I said earlier, open space has been around since about 2017, founded by technology gurus at MIT who personally saw a need for um, increased productivity and reduced conflict in the construction industry and how the visual capture process could help builders with uh, those issues. So this, since then, open space has taken off like wildfire, right? Especially during COVID when job sites had to shut down or reduce staff, um, their on-site resources on the job sites. And that's when particularly GCs and owners first kind of caught on and saw the opportunity to manage their projects remotely. Typically, we've heard that they've reduced travel by more than 50%, um, just being able to capture and manage the visual data of job sites using the visual data using open space. In a little more than four years, our customers have captioned over 4 billion square feet around the world in more than 65 countries and have collected more than 400 million images. So it's we've created the largest visual data set of construction imagery um, on the market today. So it's we've grown really fast. I think you can see that um, 
you know, a lot of people have seen the benefits of this. And again, you know, the, the two customers who are on here, as well as uh, several other subcontractors have started picking up and seeing the value for their own businesses as well. Um, we've also continued to so see at the bottom here, ClearSight. We've also continued to develop our platform um, to kind of teach our system to see. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute to actually track progress of work in place and percentage complete. So why are we, what's our reason for being? Why did we even start open space, right? And this is, this is why, these are the things we were hearing from our customers, particularly from our trades customers. Um, you know, you're frequently dealing with damaged work that you've installed that's been damaged by another trade coming in, or your work is delayed because the project management isn't on schedule. Um, schedules aren't lining up with actual work complete from previous trades, for example, or your work's been disputed, right? And it's delaying, it's delaying the project, it's delaying you getting paid on time. Um, inefficient resource planning, schedules don't always line up to um, the plans for, for your resources. The pay apps, you know, may be inaccurate or delayed. And you know, frankly, technology adoption's hard, right? It's hard to put new processes in place or new things in place. So you need something super easy to put out in the field that people can use and catch on to pretty quickly. Um, and again, you know, disputes between all the stakeholders in a project typically delay project delivery. No one's happy. Um, it affects your repeat business, right? So these are all the challenges that we've heard uh, over the years from our customers. And specifically why open space for trades, right? Again, very simple, very fast and easy to use. If you can use Google Street View, Google Maps and Google Street View, you can use open space. It's modeled after the same kind of experience, um, technology experience. And uh, the key benefits, you know, for trades, um, you know, the automatic track tracking and reporting. So, you know, reducing your delays from tracking your work in place on an Excel spreadsheet versus right there in the system from what you're actually, what the system's actually seeing, like what you're seeing as you walk through. Uh, again, minimal training required. It takes minutes to get on this. I'll let these guys speak to that themselves. Um, more accurate percent complete reporting with clear sites. Um, if that's you know, um, for progress tracking to reduce disputes, keep things on schedule. On time payments. So you'll see um, as we talk about clear site in a minute, um, how that can help with your, your pay apps and uh, better relationships with GCs and enabling remote and hybrid work. So that's what we specialize in. Um, our offering clear site progress tracking is really based on your um, quantity takeoffs. So in, so in addition to uploading your 2D floor plans, you're providing us with your quantity takeoffs and based on your 360 capture, the system can actually see and quantify materials installed and work complete, and then um, and then provide that to you in a dashboard so that you can manage um, against your start date and your end date. So keeping things more on schedule. So this is basically how it works. We have artificial intelligence powered trackers that feed into our vision engine based on your quantity mapping to your quantity takeoffs and then spitting it out into some really clear reporting dashboards to help you track your work complete. Again, I'll let, um, I'll let Zach speak to that a little bit as well. And then I think we'll just launch into kind of hearing their experience. Um, we will start with uh, Darwin and Andrew. So again, welcome guys, thanks for joining us today. Um, we'd love to, now that we've kind of heard what open space is and how it works for the trades, love to hear about your personal experience um, basically what your initial goals were, let's start with that to, for, and you know, what you switched from and then why you're using open space. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for having us now. Um, so yeah, I came down to, uh, documenting a project, um, documentation of a project and what, what we did prior. And, uh, and then we see this as an option or an opportunity to, be able to uh, track a project, see a project come together, and then also have a uh, data on file or, a, you know, from pictures to a 360 imagery, it's, it's pretty awesome. So prior um, storage was it's taking pictures, right? Take pictures, take videos, and uh, store them in the job file. But what it comes down to is everyone has a different level of 
taking pictures and uh, storing them, making it so you can find them later. And it gets really messy. That's what we found. And it's always, it's always a question of, uh, yeah, how often you take pictures and then how do you store them? And everyone has a different skill set at that. So with this uh, platform, and we've actually went to our, our safety manager does the walk. So he tries to walk the job weekly. So we get a consistent capture. And then of course, there's always the, the specific captures where we want more detail in a certain area or something that needs to be captured. So it's many walks on top of the weekly walk, I guess. But what it, it's just, uh, yeah, so we get our capture and it gets uh, documented, stored, field notes are taken stored on the plan where it's at. So it's easy to find them. And it's, you can see right where you're at. You know what you're looking at, so. Great, and yeah, you mentioned field notes. So that is a feature that um, we offer in open space where you're taking the 360 capture and then you stop and you see something and you can take a still photo with your phone that will automatically be pinned to the 360 visual walk. And then you can annotate that, right? So. That's what field field notes are. So you can you can actually take notes on an issue you're seeing while you're walking, and then you can actually report on those field notes in the system as well. You can actually download all those field notes into a PDF and create a report. Um, can you give some examples of where field notes have helped you, or how, how that process has helped you on a specific project or a specific issue you resolved? So from a safety standpoint, it actually works very well. I mean, it's yeah, you do take a field note of a missing handrail or loose or, or maybe there's just something, uh, there's a lot of different from a safety standpoint that works. Uh, you can take a picture, take a field note, share it, bring it up to the GC, talk about it, come up with a plan to make it a safe project and then you move forward. But the field notes also, it gives you a lot of, it gives you better detail. So if there's anything that, you know, you want to, you want more detail and many times there is, so you just, it's easy. It's fast. You just take your field note, take your take your take it, save it, done, and keep walking. So it doesn't it doesn't impact the capture at all. It's it's just a benefit. It's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. And I think it's important to note that you know this is your visual data. This isn't residing with the GC or the owner, right? I mean, this is Prairie Electric's you know visual captures of the job site that you can use for your own uh, to back your to back up your work, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And, and share with who you want to. So different examples can come up on a job of a different event that occurs and there may be an issue or condition. And open space has been very helpful in that, you know, you take a previous capture and through construction of the job, there may be an issue comes up. You know, you can bring back field superintendent from the GC side, let him view your one capture date specific to your latest capture kind of exposes the occurrences that have taken place in the job, you know? So it's been very helpful for us. Yeah, that's great. And we do, yeah, we have the shared folders feature too. So you, you don't have to share everything with a stakeholder. You can choose which captures to share with whom. So um, we know that that's a pretty popular feature because you don't always want to share everything with a GC. Um, Right. So um, sounds like that's been helpful to you. Do you have a, a specific example of maybe like a dispute that you've settled based on going back and saying, wait a minute, you know, that that wasn't us or that damage wasn't us. I think you sure. gave an example of a, an acoustic in, uh, installation or something like that. Sure. We have one that we can uh, share with you is we did a mixed use project uh, down in the uh, first floor community area, you could call it. They did a concrete countertop and we had pendant lights above it. Um, concrete countertop was cracked through the, through the process of the job. And they had felt that possibly uh, Prairie was responsible for that crack due to the installation of our pendant fixtures. Well, having our open space captures, we were able to go back and show and reveal to the GC that this crack occurred after the installation of our pendant fixtures being hung. So in that way, it's it's helpful. It's just, and you have record documentation, quick access to it. So 
yeah, that's one instance where it really helped us. That's awesome. And weren't, weren't you going to have to pay up for that? Because they were kind of pointing the finger at you for causing a crack, right? But you, you saved you saved your skin on that one <laughs> a little yeah, bit. Absolutely. There's, yeah, expense to repair or fixing a concrete countertop. Absolutely. Yeah. So it did save us from having to pay up or, yeah. That's another, another spot is, uh, you know, schedule impacts. You know, when we, our trade, especially we come in after uh, a lot of the times we were one of the last last stages of uh, rough in, I guess, before drywall or, you know, so the job can continue on. Well, there's many, there's many, many areas of construction that impacts the, uh, our work where we cannot install until it's complete. So it's a good tool to be able to go back and show why we're at the stage and it's not, it, the schedule is getting impacted, but now we have a compressed schedule or whatever it may be. Yeah, that's huge. That's great. Um, well, let's let's switch gears over to Zach and uh, hear a little bit from you, Zach, at Western Partitions. Um, Western Partitions, you do interiors, exteriors, kind of like a variety of work, right? It's like framing, yeah. cladding, insulation, fireproofing, like all kinds of things. Is that right? We've got our hands in, in quite a quite a bit of basically all all the. Uh, Specialty interiors, exteriors, basically anything that excludes any MEP and concrete work. We don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, we've uh, we we do a lot. Of, in fact, I believe at times we've worked with Prairie in the past. So I haven't met you, gentlemen, but uh, nice to see you guys again. Um, currently, we're on a 35-story mixed-use project here in Portland, and the way we actually found open space. We, uh, we have a contract requirement to document all walls uh, pre and post cover of drywall and finishes. Um, and obviously throughout the years for QA, QC and any, any punch list items, we usually do that by hand. There's assorted software out there, Bluebeam, Plain Grid, nor, I mean, just like Prairie was, uh, was talking about, um, there's just a vast number of ways you can collect this information, whether it be from you know, text messages and videos and, and photos from team members in the field, or like I said, using some software. Uh, but because of the size of this project and the contract requirement of post pre and post on every single room and area of this project, we started looking at ways we can automate that. And that's how we found open space and being able to walk through. That was our primary goal is just to capture and meet our contract requirements. But after using the software for a bit, we came to find out, like Prairie was saying, you know, we can use this for documentation. We can use this as milestone achievements. You know, everything, instead of being spread out over many different formats, it's all in one place. And like Val said, we control it. I mean, sure, it's in the cloud on open space servers, but if we don't want somebody to see it, we don't have to let them see it. So it's worked out very well. And then since we signed on as partners, the clear space tracking came out and we've been able to slowly start utilizing that and man, it just opens up so many worlds so we're excited to see where this goes and happy to be here that's great yeah can you speak to a little bit about how you're using clear site for the progress tracking or what you know what things you've found that are cool about it how, how it might have helped so far uh so far we're still kind of <clears throat> working out some bugs uh we are on a large project and it's design build been going for a couple of years and it's got a couple of years left to go so drawings are constantly changing so we're in the process of doing new takeoff and finalizing some budgets but uh so far we've been using it as basically a schedule of value backup it, it's it's basically an ongoing tally of what's actually in place uh, and when we charge the customer the gc for uh for work put in place we actually beyond you know written written explanations and, and pictures and video we have, we have this where they can we can send them that link and they can literally walk through all the areas that we put on that sov and verify for, for themselves what's there and what's not and it's it's been awesome like i said we're still kind of fine-tuning our process on it but uh we see a lot of potential in it and we're excited to be using it that's great that's awesome um i'll go back to uh darwin and andrew here uh for a moment 
And uh, oops. All right. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, kind of have a navigation error here. Um, but Andrew and um, Darwin, so what would you advise to other trades that, I mean, not necessarily electrical trades, but just any, any other sub, like what would you advise in, like if they're at the point that you were before you had open space, how would you advise them to, you know, what would you advise them to look for? What would you say would be the key benefits of using something like open space? Well, for I, I guess I'll just speak to for for starters. It's a uh, our experience has been it's almost like it's a little somewhat of a time saver as well too. So we go like Andrew explained from a process of documentation alone on multiple projects that we're doing, and you're trying to have individuals on the field team document uh, whether it's video or photographs we've found the open space solution to be very beneficial, even from a time standpoint. You know, you can walk the job in probably from 20 to 35 minutes versus, you know, having guys try to document and deal with it. And it, it just seems like it's been that way, a, a good time saver for us. And it's also been organizationally, like Andrew stated, it seems like it's uh, for our company, it's just put us more on an organizational track that is way more beneficial for us, even from a standpoint of our team members having a, a ability to go access it right away. You know, even that can be controlled. But, so in that way, it's been very good for us. We've felt, and that's why we've, uh, yeah, tried to sign up more in a longer term type effort with open space. That's great. Yeah, we're happy to have you. That, that's awesome. Um, so Zach, um, anything to say about just, is it easy to get up and running? Like, have you had, um, yeah, you know, any challenges getting it across to your team? We, we've had no issues with, I mean, like you said, it's kind of modeled. If you can use Google Maps, you can pretty much use this, this software. Uh, we, in the field, we run it off of a uh, you know, a 360 camera that wirelessly hooks up to our iPads. Um, I, I know you guys have said it works with most cell phones as well. We actually haven't had to do that in our field. We, we use pretty much iPads for everything. And then for the administration and viewing side, the web app, is, is, it's super simple. I mean, it couldn't be any easier as far as that. Good. That's great. So, um, Basically, I guess across the board for for both of you, um, you feel like you're getting the value out of open space that you know you were hoping for, and um, you know, I mean, as far as just the investment and and what you're using it for, um, partnering with us, et cetera. We we definitely got the value. Like I said, we originally chose this to meet up with our project contract requirements and basically just take some of the logistic work of of. Of file, like filing all those hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures where this, I mean, it does it automatically for you. But in the process of that, we found there's already been a couple of disputes where prior predecessor work that should be in place before we start, before we cover was or was not done. Well, we happen to have an image capture program that isn't set up in a timeline. So we just scrolled back a couple of days and found, oh, sure enough, that predecessor work hadn't been done. So it, it saved, saved our company some money. So even though we started using the software for one reason, we just keep finding more reasons to use it. And it, it's, it's helpful all, over, all the way around. I mean, there can never be too much information. So it's, we're happy. That's great. Well, we're, we're happy yeah, you're happy. Zach said, it, Zach said it well. That's what, it, that's what we feel the same. I mean, it's, you're dealing with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photographs and people that have different organization levels and it really makes them useless if they're not really organized and with this with open space it does it for you and really it comes down to especially for us with I guess I don't know if there's 20 or 30 projects or whatever it is but um, it creates a platform where they're all done the same it's like it's not you you go away from one guy doing it like this this guy doing it like that you know, different teams work different together. And it's, so that part of it's 
pretty awesome. Now, another another big benefit is also the project manager on the project or whoever has access doesn't need to go to the job to see something. They can open it up anytime, look at it, take a quick look, and you know make a decision. So nice. That's great. Well, we're uh, we're coming down to the bottom of the hour. Are there any um, parting shots before I wrap us up? What you'd like to share with uh, other other subcontractors in the field? I mean, to each their own, I'm sure. But uh, I mean, the technology is going to continue to advance. So, I mean, either we reinvent the wheel or we jump on with good trade partners that are willing to take the reins. And I mean, I just see this technology going further and further. And, you know, I look forward to what happens next and maybe possibly extensions with it. it's I mean the sky's the limit right so I, I don't I don't see this particular software package harming a company in any way I, I see nothing but benefit especially if we learn to utilize it in the proper ways so I mean that's pretty much all I have to add other than anybody's questions they might have that's great yeah thank you for that I guess likewise same thing it's like it's a uh... Technology is always changing, and this is a has been a very good way for us to come up with a process and a platform to use to document a project. And it really, it's that's what it's that, that's kind of what it's all about is to what is the, have a process and have something in place where you can have like good, consistent um, results. Excellent. And that's true. We are continuously developing. ClearSight was our latest release. Um, it's been very well received for the progress tracking side. Um, we have individual trackers for things like mechanical um, and drywall, electrical, and more to come around concrete and some other um, materials as well. So watch this space, watch open space for more around that. And um, just to wrap us up today, um, oh, sorry about this guys. I actually went to the wrong slide. Um, we do have a year end promotion that's running through November 30th for ClearSight progress tracking. So um, like I said, we have individual trackers. This will be something you'll see. You can email us at the email address at the end of the presentation to learn more. Um, but we have individual trackers that you can use with the 360 capture to track um, your work in place. Um, again, for mechanical, um, drywall, electrical. Um, so like architectural as well. And when you buy one tracker, you get one free um, by November 30th. Or if you don't need more trackers, you only need you know, one, you have one specialty, just need one tracker. We're um, also offering a free 360 camera and iPad Pro. So think about that if you haven't invested already. Uh, and then we are having our first annual user conference on November 2nd. So I encourage everyone, if you haven't registered for this already, um, we, again, you can email us at the, the email at the end of this presentation here, sales at openspace.ai, or come and visit our website to learn more. But we appreciate everyone joining us today, and uh, especially Zach, Andrew, and Darwin. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us. And um, we are very excited to continue this journey with you and continue to develop the platform with you um, and deliver what you need. So appreciate it. And thanks for, um, thanks for joining us today. All right. Thank, thank you. you.